Greetings and a warm welcome from me, astrologer Patrick Arundel. Today, in the latest of my Inside Track videos, I'm going to share with you all about Mercury's relationship with Jupiter in a trine, one of the most enabling angles in astrology. can be very positive, but it's going to be repeated three times on the 10th of August, the 4th of September and the 25th of September due to Mercury's retrograde, which begins on the 23rd of August. So I'm going to go into why this is a real opportunity. I'm going to share with you the event chart that we can all collectively relate to. And also just explain to you why I feel that this is a particularly special alliance at this point of the year. If you are new to my channel, it's lovely to have you with us. Very much community. Please share any thoughts. I do try to interact with as many as possible. If you're a returning visitor, great to have you with us again. Please do subscribe if you can. Also, I'd like to briefly tell you about a very special opportunity. Year 2023 is really whizzing by. The new year is racing towards us. If you order your year 2024 personal horoscope now, based on your unique birth data, I'll prepare for you the rest of 23, free of charge, but also my special package, you'll get your character analysis, your life roadmap report. Please see the link below for more. All of this will give you incredible insights in how to marshal your energy and your efforts at just the right moments in the months to come. Also, if you would like to watch your free year 2024 Zodiac forecast, my in-depth, searingly detailed videos are now live. Please see beneath this video for the links for yours from Aries through to Pisces. Okay, on the 10th of August at 12.47 a.m., so 47 minutes past midnight, Universal Central Time, Mercury, the planet of communication, forges a link with Jupiter, the planet of growth, which is exact. As I mentioned before, once Mercury goes retrograde on the 23rd of August, this will be repeated on the 4th of September, but also the 25th of September too. Now, clearly, Mercury is going to go retrograde on the 23rd and is also already in its shadow period. So communication has been a bit frustrating recently. First of all, we had that very uh, abrasive opposition between Mars and Saturn. Mars in Virgo, where Mercury is, Mars is still there, and Saturn in the 12th solar house of Pisces, and that was creating a lot of frustration and friction. And then more recently, we've had Mercury in an opposition with Saturn too. So despite the fact that Mercury is in the second of its two home uh, signs of Virgo, which is great for really concentrating on the detail, being more discriminating, sifting through what we really need to be investing our time in and knowing what to steer clear of, trying to get our lives running that more efficiently, focusing on anything to do with where we can help uh, provide good services to people. As I always say, not be servile. If you are someone who works in any kind of care se sector, nursing, uh, food distribution, uh, a very important time. But of course, Mercury in the sign of Virgo can also be quite pointed. And I think Jupiter, also in an Earth sign of Taurus, brings a more flamboyant and generous vibe to bear and balances that position in a very constructive way with the more outgoing and potentially orientated energies of Jupiter. Now, Jupiter in Taurus can clearly be about money, but Jupiter is slowed down a little bit in Taurus, whereas Jupiter can promise more than it can realistically deliver. Taurus just asks it to be a little bit more cautious, but if you are trying to make the most of any renewals in terms of insurances or utilities, 
and really trying to get all the information, which of course these two planets can be very much about information, this combination is very, very good. But Jupiter can also be about travel, Mercury about the details, can be the ticket in through its rulership of Gemini, but certainly uh, the combination between six and second houses is really getting everything working very efficiently and uh, sweating a bit more from our assets. Now, if you are looking for a new job, what clearly you're going to want to achieve is a job that gives you a sense of personal satisfaction, Mercury in Virgo, but also gives you a package which is good for you, Jupiter in Taurus. Um, but this is also a very realistic aspect in some ways. I wouldn't say it's all the way to two of coins in tarot, which is a bit more thrifty. I think it's better than that, perhaps more like the three of coins. It certainly gives us the opportunity to get busy and make progress. Remember, Jupiter can be about philosophies and, uh, and also about trade, and Mercury is very much about transactions and commerce. If you've ever thought of working for yourself, this is a wonderful opportunity to really get things going. Don't be put off by the Mercury retrograde or shadow or post-shadow period. Mercury ends its retrograde on the 15th of September and the post-retrograde shadow just as September's come into a close. So the 4th of September and the 25th of September are both influenced by Mercury retrograde and the post-retrograde shadow respectively. But don't be too put off by that. Remember, Mercury retrograde can be a great opportunity to reset, rethink and recalibrate. It can be a time to actually make improvements. It's not always going to cause snags and snares, but clearly because of the precision of Mercury in Virgo and the expansiveness of Jupiter in Taurus, even if it's a little bit more realistic there, this is an opportunity to try to be as constructive as possible within the obvious parameters that Mercury retrogrades can cause some mischief, but I feel it's very important to see this for what it is. A really wonderful opportunity to do a deal, sign a contract, reach an agreement, be realistic, and make the most of our resources, get the research done so we're better informed about exactly where we are, check our bank statements, ensure that we do read the small print on any kind of contractual matter, because if you do all of that, I can almost guarantee you will find some savings. The other thing with Mercury in Virgo is it can be good to analyse what we're eating and drinking, looking at the labels, becoming more aware of nutrients, not just in terms of thinking, well, you know, this looks good, actually examine things in a closer way. But of course, Jupiter in the sign of Taurus can be very much the enjoyment of good food, perhaps at times to the nth degree. So again, there can be a balancing between the desire of Jupiter and the precision and realism that Mercury brings. So a really important aspect, a great opportunity to try to squeeze out uh, a little bit more savings here and there and be a bit more exact in our approach, but also have a sense that we can overcome challenges. We can find the way forwards by having the confidence that Jupiter gives us to use the precision that Mercury gives us to make improvements and progress. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care and goodbye for now.